Hey there. Earlier tonight, I saw Poltergeist with a friend of mine that I hadn't seen in a long time, uh, many years. Uh, he lives down in California, Southern California, and uh, last year he got a truck driving job, and he just happened to be in the area today, and I uh, got to see him this morning, and then later on in the day, I, ha I was helping another friend uh, try to get an apartment, and then uh, my friend from California said, hey, uh, do you want to see a movie tonight? Yes, great. And uh, so we saw Poltergeist. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I would highly recommend it to others. The acting was great. The way they modernized it was great. I would easily put it up there with the original Poltergeist. In fact, there's some things... I, I might put it even just a hint above the original Poltergeist. And that's kind of hard to do because I thought the original movie was pretty creepy. Though it did have hints of... The original had hints of uh, sort of a Christian thing going on in it, and this one didn't, and I was really happy about that. Um, great movie. Great movie all around. There are only two complaints I have about it. One is the kind of distortion they showed on devices like this. <clears throat> there is a scene where uh, there's a... a the one of the, the older girl in the movie had uh, an iPhone, and there was all this distortion happening, and it looked kind of like analog distortion. I'm like, uh, no, you're not going to see that on this kind of device. What well, the distortion, what you'd see on something, one of these kind of things, would look like when graphics air out. And it's not going to be some fluid movement or anything. It's going to be glitch, 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 something like that, right? And that's not fully what they showed there. Her device was acting like a Geiger counter. <laughs> there wasn't anyone. That, there was just my friend, uh, someone he knew, and myself in the theater. And so when that happened, I said, Oh, look, it's the new Geiger counter app. <laughs> so, um, uh, so, you know. And then there was also the distortion they showed on the television. And it wasn't an old CRT television. It was, you know, one of these new ones. And... Similarly, it showed distortion that you just wouldn't see. Um, and then the other complaint, um, and, and the first complaint is pretty superficial, but it did take a little bit away from, from, from the realism of the movie to me. But the second complaint was, um, even though the CG in the movie for the most part was fantastic, and it really made it feel real, there were a couple points where... They wanted to show the ghosts or creatures somewhat making it into the real world, and whenever they'd show it, it looked just like when they try to do uh, CG zombies. I was like, uh, uh, that took away from it a lot. I mean, it wasn't as bad as, as, as Jabba the Hutt uh, uh, crammed into uh, a Star Wars Episode Four, but it was still pretty bad, so... Um, but besides those two things, great movie. Just great movie. I'd highly recommend it to anyone.